This is Adam Gorney, the National Recruiting Director at Rivals, here with new Tennessee commit, Ethan Davis. Definitely a big win for the Vols. Um, how did it come to Tennessee for you, Ethan? Because there were a lot of other SEC schools involved for a long time. How did Tennessee win out here? Um, you know, just the relationship I built with Coach Golish, Coach Hype, you know what I mean? They were just recruiting me from the jump since June. You know what I mean? They didn't slow down at all. You know what I mean? Talking to them both at least twice a week, you know what I mean? And then me getting up to the campus for the game and on the unofficial in June, it was just like when I went there, I felt at home. You know what I mean? My parents, me, you know, my siblings, we all love the city of Knoxville. You know what I mean? Just the environment at the game, it really just felt like like home. Yeah. That's going to be an offense that passes the ball for sure. Um, how exciting was that to see? And especially as Coach Heupel was there in his first year to actually see it in in practice, you know? Yeah, um, I definitely think people didn't like they didn't think that Tennessee would have the year they have like this past year. You know what I mean? And they really exceeded a lot of people's expectations. You know what I mean? But I definitely see myself in that offense, you know, what I mean, because they're high paced and, you know, me going to Collins Hill, you know what I mean? We get that ball out quick. You know, we're always moving. You know what I mean? So it's like basically a transition from fast paced offense to fast paced offense. You know what I mean? So. I mean, just being under Coach Golish, you know what I mean? He's going to really explain to me and teach me, like, like a true tight end way. You know what I mean? Like, I can line up in a slot. I can get in bare. I can get in a three-point stance. You know what I mean? You uh, you got up there in the summer and liked it. But a game day environment in Knoxville, what is that like? And, and how special was that as you were thinking about making this decision here? Um, it was definitely special being able to go to that game. You know what I mean? It was sold out. The environment was like... It was just crazy. The whole thing was just – the whole environment was just – it was so, like, unexplainable. You know what I mean? Like, every every good play, ears rattling. You know what I mean? The whole the whole stadium was shaking. The whole stadium was jumping. So that experience, that experience was just, like, really, like, once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of meshing with Coach Heupel and, and Golish is important, but – but also kind of liking them and, and and those kinds of things. What stands out about those two guys in particular that you said, you know what, I'm going to go here and, and these are the guys that are going to coach me? I mean, just seeing them take the time out of their day to check up on me and make sure I'm doing good, you know what I mean? And then just them coming to the school, you know. Coach Golish has been at the school three times in the past two weeks, you know what I mean? So stuff like that really, like, sticks out to me, you know what I mean, because he's, like, showing the time and attention to come, you know, see me and watch me practice and watch me play. You know what I mean? So it just it just shows out, you know what I mean? Let's talk about your basketball background. Obviously a huge help on the football field. How's that transition been for you? And what kind of attributes from the basketball court kind of transition over to the football field for you in particular? I mean, I'll, like a lot of the a lot of the same basketball concepts work the same way in football. You know what I mean? Like catching a jump ball going to get a rebound for me. You know what I mean? Running like a stick route or, um, you know what I mean? It's basically like posting up in the paint. You know what I mean? So a lot of like the stuff really like meshes together. You know what I mean? Like the footwork in basketball helps a lot on the field. You know what I mean? And like just the running in basketball helps me stay, you know, stay in condition for football. That way I can go and play what like every snap of the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your junior season, excellent, uh, undefeated and – putting up big, big numbers. What was it like playing with Sam Horn as your quarterback? And now he's going to be at another SEC school at Missouri. You know, I mean, it's definitely me and Sam, you know what I mean? We're really close. You know what I mean? Me and him, we hang outside of school. You know what I mean? We've built, we've built a connection, you know what I mean? So like, like he trusts, he trusts me, you know, to catch the ball. And, you know, he, I, I trust him to throw me the ball. You know what I mean? So it was really like our chemistry together really works well. You know, like he knows exactly where to put the ball where I want it. You know what I mean? And, like, I know where to, like, sit, you know, find the holes for him, make his throws easier for him. So it really all just came together with me and him because, like, we yeah. knew each other before football and we were already friends before that. So it just really – football kind of made us closer and made us better on the field. Yeah, I, I guess you're a football prospect now. I don't think you're going to play basketball at Tennessee, although I, I, I think you certainly have the ability to. It's just uh, – um, but but speaking about your junior season and, and another athlete on your team, number one player in the 2022 class, what is it like playing with Travis Hunter? And what do you just kind of learn from his game that you can maybe even translate to your own? Um, it was – it's crazy. Like, um, you know what I mean? Just being on the same team as Travis, it's just like 
it's um like um it's like it's it's different you know what i mean because like to us he's like to us he's not like a like he's not like the number one player in the nation you know what i mean like yeah like he's just trav you feel me like we just call him trav you feel me like he's just another one of our teammates another one of our brothers you know what i mean and that's how he acts towards us too you know what i mean like he's not like he's not that kind of dude to be like okay like i'm not gonna practice today because i'm the number one player in the nation you know what i mean like he's right. like like he wants to like be a part of this team you know what i mean he doesn't believe that he's bigger than the team you know what i mean he's a great teammate he's really coachable you know what i mean and he always picks each other up you know even when he was hurt he was sitting here giving me advice on how to run my routes and stuff like that you know what i mean and i'm taking it all in from him you feel me so it's just like he benefits our team not only on the field but off the field as well yeah great we are here with new 2023 tight end ethan davis who is now committed to tennessee uh for adam gorney from rivals.com <laughs> 